Super weapons go back thousands of years before the Empire wielded the power of the first Death Star. Sometimes these massive beasts were used as a form of defense, but more often than not, they were used on the offensive to change the tide of a battle. Today, we're going to take a look at the most destructive super weapons ever created, Star Forge. The Star Forge drew energy and matter from a nearby star, which, when combined with the power of the Force, was capable of creating an endless supply of ships, droids, and other war material. Some speculate that the Star Forge was partially alive and thrived on the Force. A dark Jedi behind the Forge could cause havoc on entire solar systems with a never-ending production rate of weaponry. Sun Crusher Although the smallest of the super weapons, the Sun Crusher was one of the most deadly. The Sun Crusher was able to make any star within its range go supernova. Thus, it could basically wipe entire galaxies off of the map simply by targeting its sun. Once the sun went supernova, everything around it died too. The Sun Crusher was a nearly indestructible craft that was no larger than a starfighter, but was capable of unleashing destruction on a magnitude that dwarfed even the Death Star's capabilities. Unlike the Death Star, which destroyed individual planets, the Sun Crusher could destroy an entire star system by causing its target star to turn into a supernova. The Sun Crusher was also indestructible and could be used to ram and rip through much larger ships. Eclipse Class Super Star Destroyer The Eclipse Star Destroyer had a cannon that rivaled the power of the Death Star. It was primarily used to destroy other capital ships and space stations. However, it did have the ability to blow through a planet's shields and annihilate it. The Eclipse Class Super Star Destroyer could also pulverize any other Super Star Destroyers with ease. World Devastator Although it is debatable if the World Devastators were deadlier than the Death Star, they were undoubtedly more efficient. The Death Star could merely destroy worlds, while the World Devastators could use a targeted world's material resources for the Empire's benefit. A Devastator's primary tactic was to land on the surface of a planet. There, its mighty tractor beam projectors would literally tear the planet beneath it apart, thus making them planet killers. Death Star 2 The second Death Star was bigger, stronger, and faster than the first one. While the original was 160 kilometers wide and traveled at 10 megalite, the second Death Star was 900 kilometers wide and could travel at 20 megalite. The second iteration of the battle station was also designed by engineer Bevel Lemelisk, the original Death Star's designer. Lemelisk was executed for the design flaws in the final version of the destroyed Death Star 1, but was cloned by Emperor Palpatine in order to redesign the super weapon, eliminating the flaws of the former battle station. In the newest version, he added thousands of turbo lasers while removing any external weaknesses. Starkiller Base Starkiller Base was a mobile ice planet located in the unknown regions that served as a stronghold of the First Order 30 years after the Battle of Endor. Commanded by an unofficial triumvirate of General Armitage Hux, Kylo Ren, and Captain Phasma, it was armed with a super weapon capable of destroying entire star systems halfway across the galaxy. The First Order viewed this ability as an evolution of the planet-destroying capabilities of the Galactic Empire's Death Star designs, with the weapon serving as the ultimate culmination of old Empire research into dark energy translations and hyperspace tunneling. Galaxy Gun the Galaxy Gun was designed to serve as a super weapon capable of firing large, destructive projectiles equipped with particle disintegrator warheads capable of destroying an entire planet. It was also equipped with hyperdrive and sublight thrusters. In short, this was a portable super weapon. Centerpoint Station Centerpoint had tractor beams so powerful that it could move entire planets out of orbit. It had the ability to create entire orbiting galaxies. Centerpoint Station also had the ability to shoot this powerful tractor beam as a concentrated source of energy. The result was a devastating blast that could travel through hyperspace and could not be deflected. Yogan's Core Using a Dovin Basil, the Yuzan Vong used biotechnology to manipulate gravity fields. In doing so, they could place the Dovin Basil on a planet and instruct it to attach itself to the planet's orbiting moons. The moon would then slowly be pulled out of its orbit until it crashed into the planet, destroying everything. Obligatory tier for Chewbacca.